guys, my name's Daryl and welcome to this edition of our off-road camper build. Now, this is part two of a two-part series where we've turned a top hinge caravan window into a rear hatch. And the reasons I've done that is, from my perspective, it was more cost effective, it was the size I wanted, it would probably give me a better finish and it would be more waterproof because the seals are all in it uh, than anything I could possibly make. So, in part one, and I'll link to it up here, um, but we took the glass out. I've cut out a piece of the composite panel in the gloss black to match the roof colour, and we've installed that. In part two today, we're installing some gas struts. Uh, and because the gas struts weren't there before, I figured I should put some reinforcement to the inner and outer frame. So I cut up some aluminium and riveted that in for reinforcement. So with fitment of this window, generally if you were using it as a, a caravan window, you'd pop in the outer frame, you'd go inside and the manufacturer gives, like most other windows, gives you an inner frame where you pop it in, screw this in and this pulls the outer frame back. Because we're using this as a hatch, not a window, and we're opening the window or the hatch to near 90 degrees, um, and we're opening and closing it a lot of times, and there's different strains on it because of the gas struts, I figured more was needed. So I've actually drilled through the outer, the outer lip and bolted it in with some uh, five mil cap head bolts. That way I don't have to rely on the flimsy plastic corners that are on this frame. Um, I'm not a real fan of how it goes together, although with doing it the way I've done it, each side is securely bolted to the camper and the plastic corners are just sitting there for decoration and waterproofing. So I think it's a fairly good outcome. But anyway, let's have a look at the footage and see how we went with that.
after doing all that, it was just installing the window into the camper. Now, I've used Sikaflex because I figured there was a lot of nooks and crannies in the frame and the Sikaflex would go into those and fill them up and waterproof them well. Uh, I've probably used too much, as you can see in the, the footage I'm, I'm just about to roll, but I figured it'd be good because it'd fill up all the nooks and crannies, as I've just said, um, and then I just had to clean up the excess, which wasn't fun, but anyway. The cap head bolts, painting them black, I think's turned out really nice and you can hardly notice them, but it is so solidly mounted um, and the plastic corner pieces that I felt were a little bit flimsy are as solid as a rock now. So very happy with how it's turned out and frankly you can hardly notice the, the cap head bolts. I think it's been a really good outcome. <music> So once this window was installed, it was then what do I do for locks and do I run with one lock or what kind of lock or do I run with two at the sides? In the end I've gone with two, I figured that was good because I could pull the corners in and that would make it more dust proof than just having one. I've also gone with exactly the same lock as what's on the fridge box at the front of the camper. One, everything matches, so that's not a bad thing. Uh, two, I can have them all keyed alike and I don't have to go out of my way to do it. I can just hunt through the locks and get the right numbers. So everything's keyed alike on the camper. I think that's a really good thing to have because I don't have to have multiple keys. And I've also got a whole heap of spare keys now, which is not a bad thing. These, these just open up. and the lid just comes up. One thing to notice though, when you're doing these gas struts, is to make sure you get the right poundage on them. Um, originally I'd bought some, installed them, and I just couldn't get the hatch down. On closer inspection, I'd had 400 pound gas struts, which will hold up 40 kilos. These are 100, it'll hold up 10, it works really well. So traps for young players with regard to that. We're fitting these locks exactly the same as the front, but let's have a look at how we did that.
I'm really happy with how the hatch has turned out. It looks awesome. It works really well, closes really well. I'm presuming it seals really well because I haven't touched any of that. It's light, it's 7.7 .7 kilos plus the latches and gas rams. So it's probably under 10 kilos. Gotta be happy with that. And for total cost, it's somewhere between 400 and 450 Australian. Can't complain about that. So she's looking like a finished camper now, apart from when you get on the roof. So that's where we're gonna start our next episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you like that and we'll see you next time. Bye now. This is so